Hi everyone, welcome. We're about to have our craft for our science story time. If you haven't seen our science story time, it's also on our Facebook page. We've just done Balance the Birds as one of our books at story time. It's all about a tree which needs to be balanced. And we're going to make a scale which is for balancing too. So first of all, we need to collect our supplies. I've got a coat hanger, a sheet of paper, something to draw with, like crayons or textures. I've got sticky tape. I've got four beads. You don't need beads like these. You can use other small heavy objects. And you need two rubber bands, two plastic or paper cups, and some yarn or string. Let's get started. To make a simple scale, first we're going to put our rubber bands around the top of our cups, just like this. There we go. One. Oh, that one's a bit loose. Two. Now we need to cut up some yarn. Make sure they're the same length as each other. Now, let's put our yarn underneath our rubber band. That's one side done. Do that for the next side too. There. They balance beautifully. Even though this side is longer than this side, they have the same amount of string and it weighs exactly the same on both sides. So, now we have to make our birds to make sure they balance. On your piece of paper, you're going to draw some bird's wings. Draw a line across and then half a circle around. Looks a little bit like a bird's nest. And do one of these for every one of your birds. You don't have to have four birds like I have. These are the bird bodies. You can have more if you want to. Once you've drawn your wings, it'll be time to colour them in so they look like beautiful coloured birds. Now cut your wings out. Next, fold your wings like that and stick them with a bit of tape onto your bead. I roll my tape up just like that, like a little cylinder. Or you can use glue. I stick it onto my bead and stick my wings on. Oh, hello little birdie. Flap, flap, flap. My bird's going to go into this side of the balance. Let's see. Will it balance? Oh, this side's much heavier. Put it down. Need to make another bird. What about this one? A little fat red bird. Okay, I've finished all of my little birds. My little red ones and my little yellow ones. They've all got their wings on. If you like, you could keep decorating and make a little face for them as well. With two eyes. And a beak. Tweet, tweet. There. Now we've got our little bird. Let's see if it balances. My finger just there. So that it balances on my finger. You can see this side's much lower. 
Where should we put this little red bird? Hmm. Will it balance? Should we put it in that side? Ooh. It's not quite balanced. This side's lower now than this side. What if we put this yellow one in this side? Will it balance? Now this side is a little bit lower than this side. Let's try this red one. Where should we put it? This side or this side? Mm. This side. Now this side is lower. I know. Why don't we put one little yellow one on this side and one little red one on this side. Do they balance? What do you think? You can have a lot more fun with a scale like this. If you've got a straw or a pop stick, you can. if you've got a straw at home, a paper or plastic one, you can cut it in half. So you've got two of them. Thread it. Thread through some string or some yarn through the middle. And tie it off so you've got this. It's kind of like a little seesaw on both sides. Make another one. And you've got two of them. These can be hung off, these little hooks here, so you've got two little seesaws on either side of your coat hanger. We're going to make a mobile. It's not a scale, but it's still a, something that balances objects. Now, if you have some pipe cleaners at home, they would be ideal. But if you don't have pipe cleaners, that's okay. You can use wire if you've just got some wire around. Just make a fun shape with your wire. I'm going to make a... Maybe I'll make a, a spirally shape. There we go. Sort of a spiral. And then I can put that spiral on there to dangle off it. My mobile's looking great already. I've made a few more fun shapes out of my pipe cleaners. Pop that one on there. Oh, it's dragging down a bit. Whoa. I'll have to balance it out by putting another shape on this side so it doesn't slide right over like that. This one's in the middle, so it's balancing. What happens? I put this funny green star on this side. Oh, oh it's not quite tipped over. What about this orange funny shape on this side? Yes, balances again. And where shall I put this little white square? Right in the middle. There, I created a lovely mobile. I hope you find all sorts of fun things to balance with at home. With your scales, you can put all kinds of objects inside and see which one's heavier. Try all sorts of things around the house now. Enjoy.